Okay then, time to get all set and uh, here we go, uh, my holiday video, hope you're going to enjoy this. and cross checked. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to take you through our safety procedures. This will be a manual demonstration. You can pay attention to the crew member at the forward of your cabin. If I could ask the cabin crew now to stand by for a manual safety briefing. We will now demonstrate the safety features of this aircraft and your attention is essential as these may differ from any aircraft that you have flown on before. Please study the safety card in your seat area as this includes important safety information specific to this aircraft type such as brace position and location and operation of the doors. In the event of an emergency, low level lights will guide you to an exit. All exits are clearly marked and will be pointed out to you now. Please take a moment to locate your nearest exit, bear in mind this may be behind you. Opening the doors automatically inflates the evacuation slides. High heeled shoes must be taken off as they maintain the slide. Please ensure your seatbelt is fastened. It must be worn whenever the signs are on, and it is fastened and adjusted like this, and opened like this. For your comfort and safety, we recommend you keep your seatbelt fastened and visible at all times. If the cabin air supply fails, oxygen will be provided. Oxygen my overhead locker. Place items in the locker carefully as they may fall out and injure someone. In the case of an evacuation, you must move 
quickly just to the closest usable exit, taking nothing with you. Ensure that your seat is now upright and in the table position, with the armrest down and your table folded away. Window blinds will now be open in preparation for takeoff. Smoking, including e cigarettes, vaping, and the use of other smoking devices, is not permitted at any time whilst on board. This includes the toilets, which are fitted with smoke detectors. If you have any questions, please ask your cabin crew.
field securely are placed into a pocket. Larger items, including laptops, must now be switched off and stowed away safely. Please also take a moment to remind yourself of your nearest exit and study the safety card in your seat area. In the event of an emergency, leave all hand baggage behind. Thank you.
Who was the one that talked me into this? Hello. Somebody did. Oh, why is it stopping? Ah! Oh my god. Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Ridge on the left, well, because there's a, there's a picture of a cable and a little that, that is the border. So that, that the border with where? Italy. Italy. Uh -huh. So a couple of the ski runs are actually in Italy. Any animals graze on here? Probably. It's a very chilled out way to get to the top, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it runs at a faster speed in the winter for the skiers. I can hear running water. Who mm. knows where? Nice clean water too. Alpine water. <coughs> what are you doing with that rock? <laughs> Ask a silly question and he comes out with the silly answers. How high up does this go then? Two thousand meters. You're at, you're climbing from um, fifteen hundred meters already. That's just only going up five hundred. Yeah. Can't hear a single vehicle. No, no. Wonderful. No cannons. I was wondering. That's to um, if there's too much snow, they fire them no, no. to. Oh, the snow. Oh. They make it yeah. right. But nowhere near the amount that nature does. Yeah, I've been to some ski resorts where they have issues with potential avalanches and they have snow the, cannons um, that sort of create a controlled little stream. Little stream.
Where is that? Where are we heading for? Up oh, there. All the way. Come the snowy season. This is where people come flying down on two sticks, holding two sticks. There's some kind of animal or something down there. Some of the families and the people walking down are the ones that have gone up and thought to themselves, you can't face that going back down. Well, so, you can't just buy a one-way ticket. Incline from that one going up to the top. It was rather dumpy. restraint bar just before unloading and well, that makes sense otherwise you've got a limbo underneath it don't think I could do that just because it looks rocky below please don't make this ride rocky The clouds over there. on the Austrian side than it is on the Italian side. Mm. Austria's got the better weather. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> blowing too fast this wouldn't be going
thing is a fountain. Apparently when it's really cold they turn it on and this turns into like an ice sculpture. thing is a uh, I don't know what it's uh, one of them No, you don't. This is this is lovely and smooth. Mm. I am pleased about that. That's all the time shaking off the girl was Yeah, something something. That noise is very disconcerting. Just take a video of this and I'll share it with the people that operate this and just uh, let them know that it's all in one piece. Nice and smooth, isn't it? It's a view. My initial thought getting on, it started to go down, was holy heck, I need the toilet. <laughs> but now it's not too bad, it's turned quite sedate, and it's okay. As long as they don't actually look down towards the floor. Is that a toboggan run over there? There is a toboggan, is a toboggan run. run somewhere. But that'll be fun. They use it in the dry season as well. Yeah, there's they? a metal tractor on here somewhere. We can't, it's not that long since we've been, it's maybe two years. Because mm. as you say, we came up. So it wasn't it during, was it during COVID? And we had that miserable weather? Yeah. And then we've, I think we've come up the Tramelo Pass before, and because I moved the barrier, didn't I? Yes, we uh, broke into Austria. <sighs> They look fairly new. They yeah. look like the flat packs have just been thrown up. Well, I can assure you that even if they are flat packs, they've not just been thrown up. The workmen are very conscientious. Yes, that's a good word. There's one building down there near where we parked that looks like it's got a bit of Art Deco influence.
can I see it from up here? Um, do you think that up somewhere down below? Yeah, I can't yeah, see our car. Next to a red one and a black one. I see it. Is that building there? It's got the curved corners. Mm. Oh right. So we can zoom in on it. That one. Yeah. Curved corners looks a bit Art Deco. Coming back into land. Oh, mm. there's the building directly. Mm. That looks like a car park. <laughs> a multi story car park. <laughs> it probably is. Yeah, they're going to need somewhere for people to park yeah. when they come up to strap two bits of wood to their feet and throw themselves off the top of up above. And there's a giant penguin below. there. And it's time to get off. Penguins only live in the Antarctic. And here. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is part of the uh, old city walls of Ljubljana. Could be wrong. But uh, I think I'm right. And there's some nice houses in that side. Some really old ones too. This um, pyramid looking thing up ahead intrigues me. Let's find out what it is when we get there. It's cold. It's about two degrees at the moment. What is that? Pillars of some uh, description. Not quite sure what. There's um, seven of them. Strange number. Seven of them. There's all sorts of different architectures around here. Um, very modern and very old. And some of them
his artwork. Well, that explains the wall. It's a Roman wall. Up there is uh, the castle. Somewhere around here, by the banks of the river, when I find a river, is a market. the castle. And if I'm not mistaken, I think I have found aha the river. I don't think I should have stopped to take any footage of that waterfall. I now feel colder than I did when I got to it and um, I feel the urge to pee. So 
there's Murai. Here's a little narrow passageway. Not sure of its significance. But I am actually looking for a bank. So after finding a hole in the wall, I um, bumped into a load of Chinese tourists. Hey, a pigeon. <laughs> oh. So we already know about the Roman War. So after looking at that waterfall, take in that bit of video, I found myself um, down by the river, walked along it for a little bit, and uh, look what I found. Inside shopping centre, I'm going in. Yeah, 
the dragon theme again. So I, st I started a walk to um, an out of town shopping area just because I didn't feel like driving. Now I wish I hadn't started walking. My back's gone, my hip's killing me, and I'm not sure if you can see it, but way up there somewhere is where it is. Uh, all this just because I want a decent pair of headphones to um, use in my phone so I don't have to use those in-ear ones and a nice uh, little pair but are not too big so the ones I got by my computer at home just wouldn't do <laughs> but I think I'm getting there walked to here and actually walked past what I wanted but discovered a store called Muller and uh, after looking online someone described it as being the most complete store with everything that you need yeah let's uh, test that theory then okay well that place didn't have what I wanted let's try so I made it to my original destination. Well, I've enjoyed my stay here in Ljubljana and uh, it's a very nice city, uh, very clean again and um, the people are friendly and most helpful and the shops, well, let's just say some of them are just so big, so bright, I get overwhelmed. So uh, I do want to come back to this city and explore more of the area. So if any of my friends feel like a trip, <laughs> let me know and uh, maybe you can come out here with me. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching my uh, video.
that uh, I've edited together. And uh, do keep an eye out on my socials for more. The address is below. Take care. Stay safe.